Hey everybody, long time no see. I've been um, a little bit lagging on my video making, but I've been working on some other projects for you and they'll be coming to fruition very soon. Before we get started, let me remind you that in order to help this channel grow, we need you to like, we need you to comment, and we need you to share the videos that you hear here. Share it around so that other women can benefit from the knowledge that you're gaining with these videos here on the Depsterism channel. So let's talk about today's topic, which is male behavior. A question came in and a young lady posed, you know, she, well, she was kind of representing herself and her friends and they're all wondering about the same thing. So she writes, my question is about male behavior. My friends and I talk about this problem a lot. We all wonder why it is that the men we're dating have such a hard time showing us how they really feel. In my case, I know he cares a lot about me, but he never says how he feels. After six months of dating, he still hasn't said he loves me. It seems like he's hiding behind a mask, and my friends have said the same problem. What do you think is behind this? Why can't men just show you how they feel about you? And I was like, hmm, well, there are many facets to this question. So let me address them one by one in my usual analytical style. And, um, you know, we'll, so we're going to talk about the issues behind why you think men don't show you how they really feel about you. Because, see, where I come from, my understanding of men is every single thing that they do, every single thing that they say, as well as everything that they don't do and everything they don't say shows you exactly what you need to know. It shows you exactly how he feels about you, what he's thinking about you, what he's thinking about a relationship with you. Everything that you need it to know is right there. Men show you how they feel about you in action form. They may not use words, but they're definitely gonna show you by what they do. All you have to do is pay attention and accept the reality that's presented to you. For some reason, most women have, this just seems to be this recurring problem where women have a problem with accepting what a man, what a man demonstrates as behavior, understanding what his behavior is telling them and, and you know, responding accordingly. It's like too many of y'all, you see what he does, but if he says something that contradicts what he did, you go by the words you go by what he said you need to go by what he did okay because he could like do some fucked up stuff right he does some egregious bullshit and then he comes back oh but baby 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 please baby baby i love you i want to be with you you know you my one and only blah, blah blah okay so you hear all those words right and you get all attached to the words whereas his behavior is saying, saying, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care what you want. I'm going to do what the fuck I please. Anytime I get ready, I'm going to do what I want to do. And I don't really care how you feel about it. But see, you want to cling to the words coming out of his mouth instead of what he's communicating to you by how he treats you. And that is what we're going to talk about today. I just really, I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've said this in different ways. And I admit, you know, different people listen to different videos based on the topic, you know, the title and all this old stuff. There's very few people who have listened to every single video on this channel. There's almost 300 of them at this point. But I, I, I say this so much that it really bothers me that women still don't get it. So you really, you need to rem watch what men do, okay? This, watch what they do. What do they do? What do they not do? That's how, what they're communicating to you is how they feel about you in action, okay? Or, or, or lack thereof. I mean, what they do or don't do. Either way, it's communicating a very clear message about his respect, admiration, love and caring as well as his investment in you and the relationship with you it's telling you everything that you need to know about what's going on with this relationship so um let's talk about i came up with six reasons there's probably more if i had given it more thought but we'll just start with these six six reasons why men won't openly say 
or confirm you know, with words so that it leaves absolutely no doubt what they feel. The number one reason is fear of rejection. They're thinking, well, what if I come out with all these words and I say how much I love her and I say how much I feel about her and I say how much I want to be with her and she thinks I'm a simp, I'm a wimp, or she doesn't feel the same way and I get my feelings hurt and I get my face cracked and I get rejected because she just thought it was fun and here I am, you know, all invested. They're very afraid of that. So rather than risk that kind of emotional pain, they just kind of go along to get along, just kind of skate on through, not making any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of real statement that you can hold them up, you know, hold them to. They just go through the motions and that's safe. That's safe for them. They get all the benefits of a nice relationship, all the benefits of your love and connectedness and all the stuff that women offer in a relationship, but they don't have to say what they feel so that you never really are really sure that gives them the upper hand, okay? Because you're wondering, and he already knows, So he, but he's holding that out like a carrot on a stick. So you doing everything, jumping through all these hoops and going through all these you know, manipulations and machinations to try to convince him to love you. And he may already do, but he'll never let you know because he knows once he does, he'll feel like he's in a weak, you know, in a weak position. His position of power has been lowered so that you're on a, on a par with him or you may even have the upper hand. So he doesn't want that. It's not safe for him emotionally. So he's not going to tell you with words how he feels. Okay, number two, he's enjoying the convenience. I call these relationships of convenience. Some people call them you know, uh, situationships. I used to call them a sex ship. You know, dude's getting the sex. He's getting all your in, your emotions. You cooking, you cleaning, you loving him. You babysitting his kids by his baby mama. You doing all this stuff. So he's like, well, you know, if I tell her how I feel, you know, she gonna know she got me and she gonna stop trying so hard. So why would I mess up a good thing? Right now, I'm getting the you know, best of both worlds. She thinks that I don't really care, so she's going through all these changes trying to get me to care, doing all this stuff and just being all extra. And, you know, I'm getting everything that I want the way that the situation is right now, so why would I change it? See, again, it's about power and control. He's got the upper hand. Number three, deception. Now, this comes in, in like he's with you, he's got an ulterior motive. Okay, maybe he's pretending to love you because he is you know just looking for a place to stay he's looking for some free sex on a, a hot plate you know he don't really have any real feelings for you but he knows if you told he told you that you know your fantasy of bubble of, of this is your quote man would go up and smoke and he knows he'd be kicked out on his ass he wouldn't have no place to go so he you know keeps up the facade he pretends to have more feelings for you than he really does but he still again once again he may or may not now some of the real true hardcore players they're gonna be oh yeah baby you know i love you it's just me and you they're gonna spin all kind of yarns of a future and all kind of shit but you still notice he doesn't really do anything it's all talk you know, he doesn't really do anything and um if you guys paid attention to what these men did versus what they said you can see that for yourself and if no understand that you're just getting used in one of these deceptive situations you're being used for the convenience you know the sex a, a place to stay money credit card a car to drive whatever it is he's getting from you that's all he wants from you and he's not really trying to change anything too tough so he's going to keep it the way it is because he's getting all his needs met uh number four you're miss right now now see a lot of dudes don't want to be single you know it's important to them that they have somebody to talk to and to be up under and to cook for them and clean for them and pet on them and all sorts of stuff so they will get with a woman that you know i mean she's cool and everything but they ain't really trying to be in love with you they're not trying to be like all invested in you so they're you're considered like a placeholder this guy will never, ever, ever say the words, I love you, because he don't want you to be coming at him like that. Unlike the true player type, he's going to just lay it all out and then, you know, pretend like he changed his mind. This kind of guy, you know, he's not going to tell you that. He's going to use different kind of words. He's going to say something like, you know, you special to me. 
you know we don't know what the future holds you know it could turn out to be more you know let's just take things easy he's going you know kind of put you off like that he's going to keep you on a string um but he doesn't really want the situation to end he doesn't really want to to rock the boat so he's going to keep the things you know as they are using as much placating language as possible to keep you around until he finds the woman he really wants and then he's going to drop you like a hot rock number five these guys are undecided i mean he's not telling you that he hates you he's not telling you he loves you because he doesn't really know what he feels and this this could very well be an honest thing especially for women who fall in love real quick you know dude he do might be a little bit slower on the uptake i mean he may feel like you know he wants to get to know you better he's not really sure what he feels about you yet he's exploring his feelings so this guy now he may end up being you know your man but he may not he's not sure yet and th this kind of I like I said this I think this is the most honest of the group you know he doesn't know which way he's gonna land quite yet it may be too early in the relationship so he's gonna avoid making any kind of definitive statement that you can hold him to because he doesn't want to hurt you he you know he likes you as a person he doesn't want to give you know feed you a line or lie to you or trip you up or you know be fronting and fraudulent about the whole thing he's just gonna not say anything versus say something to you that's not true and then the last one you're a friend now these are the kind of dudes like say you grew up with somebody you'd be like oh you know we knew each other since we was in diapers blah blah blah, blah. okay so then you guys get a little older you decide you like him or he decides he likes you and you all start dating well I mean liking somebody and wanting to know a little bit more about him as an adult in a romantic relationship doesn't necessarily pan out the way that we might think it would you know I mean yeah you guys families know each other yeah your families like each other yeah y'all known each other since you was you know six months old but you know because someone cares for you even very deeply that doesn't mean that they're going to care for you in a romantic sense it doesn't mean they're going to care for you in a kind of way where they want to be with you for the, for happily ever after they may just end up being a close family friend type of situation so he doesn't want to hurt you and he can't figure out a way out of this situation without getting all the families involved and everybody talking about him like he's a dog and everything so he's not gonna he don't know he'll spend time with you and you guys will have fun out, but he'll never ever say i love love you he'll never say anything like that to make you be have something that you can run back to the family and spread he's not gonna do that but the bottom line for this young lady um, and her friends who are wondering how a guy cares about me about them rather uh, and you know well, he won't say what he feels the bottom line to me is all that is irrelevant the bottom line is if he's not offering you the relationship the security or the commitment that you need you should move on now you know you gotta like like I said earlier you gotta give it it has to be a sane amount of time I mean don't be looking for some kind of ironclad commitment two three weeks into the thing I mean you know it has to be at least you know five six seven months down the road before um, you should even have any kind of expectations along these lines you're still trying to get to know this person he's still trying to get to know you but he should at least be he's at that point aware of the type of relationship that you want the kind of commitment that you're looking for the kind of emotional mental and physical security that you need and if he's not offering that to you you know and you months down the road then you might want to rethink that relationship because he's probably not really going to be the man for you. So that's what I wanted to say in response to this question. Um, it's very important, I think, that women understand that men will show you how they feel. Y'all just have to be a little bit swifter on the uptake about what you see and stop denying it as a reality oh he didn't mean it well I know he cares like she said you know I know he cares you don't know shit if he didn't tell you that he does then you don't know that you know he may be doing some very loving things but I mean maybe he's the kind of guy who does loving things for a duck you know I just saw a video earlier today a dude waded through the water and he's doing the going through all these changes fighting off the mother duck and going through all kind of changes to save this baby duck did he is he in love with the duck no but he showed the duck you know the baby duck extraordinary kindness so if a guy is with you and he's showing you extraordinary kindness 
you know, don't get, don't start tripping because maybe he just feels like you, like dude felt about the baby duck. It's a life form and I don't want it, you know, to be hurt. I don't want it to die. And I know that may be harsh, but you, you, you get my point. Don't put too much on it. You know, until a man stares you in your eyes, tells you, I love you. I want to be with you. I see a future with you. I want you to be my wife. I want you to be the mother of my children. I want to grow old with you. And he has behavior and actions that back those words up notice the words sound good but by themselves they don't mean shit he better be doing some shit that backs those words up okay and if you're confused about what those actions might be put your comments down below and we'll have an additional discussion on the on the situation this is deb cooper from survivingdating.com i'll talk to you guys soon remember to share a link bye bye now that you've seen some of the grade A content that the Depsterism channel offers, please become a subscriber. Just click the subscribe button down below. Then you'll see a little bell. Click that after and then you'll be able to get notifications sent directly to your cell phone of when I post new content. You can be one of the very first people to review the new videos, like them, comment them on them and share them. We'd like you to do all of those things to help the channel grow. I appreciate your support. So become a subscriber. Tell your friends.